What is up, Whiskey Chaser Bam! Welcome back to another video. Hope everybody has been doing well on this little hiatus, but guess what? We are back, baby. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hell yeah. It has been a while since I have made a video at all because, oh man, I was sick, dude. I was not feeling good. I came back from the Forgotten Angels camp out and it wasn't Oh, that guy just blew that stop sign. That's cool. It wasn't anything that happened there. It had to have happened before that because as soon as I got down to the camp out, my voice within like the first couple hours was completely gone. I was not feeling great and I don't know. It was it was really kind of crappy. A couple other people down there felt really bad too. I don't think it was anything that was going around down there necessarily. It was it was bad, but guess what? I'm good. I'm ready to go. I still can't walk. I still can't do like a walk. <laughs> but you know, I can talk mostly. I can I can get everything going. It's all good. I'm not coughing up phlegm anymore. Uh, there was a point in time where I was like Whoa, every single day. But we're good now. We're we're good. We're set. I can I can speak. It's much better. How have y'all been? How is everybody doing? Uh, let me know down in the comments if you missed me. Because uh, I know you did. Don't lie. Just let me know. A lot has happened over the past 30-ish uh, something days. It's a big uh, change in my life. Uh, a lot of a lot of stuff. So here, just to quickly catch you up, I quit my job at the bar. I finally was done with it. I had to call in sick that weekend that I came back because I literally just couldn't talk. I didn't want to expose anybody to anything or whatever. I just was like, there's no way. Uh, but then uh, the next or weekend after that, or maybe the weekend after that, I'm not sure. But at one point I put in a notice, I was done. So I worked out my two weeks, finished it off, blah, blah, blah. I met Cody Jinx though, that was fucking cool. Uh, right before I left for Florida, we did a, uh, an event with him and his record release party, and I got to meet Cody Jinx, which I was like, holy crap, I'm a huge Cody Jinx fan. So that was great. And that's one thing I'm going to miss about working in an environment like that is just meeting people. I've, you know, I've met so many awesome, amazing people specifically because I've been working in a bar or a restaurant or something, and they've come in. It's been really cool. But Guess what? I'm done. Took a full-time job at the brewery. Gonna be doing lots of distribution, delivery, stuff like that. Drove to Knoxville twice last week. Uh, dropping off, you know, full truckloads of beer. And, you know, getting paid a little bit better, which is great. They're offering me a full-time job, which comes with uh, benefits and 401k and blah, 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 whatever. Like, all that stuff doesn't really matter as much to me as the fact that I get paid better. I'm getting paid better now working an eight hour shift at the brewery than I would be getting paid working a day or a night, I guess, at the bar. So ultimately, I think the right decision to have is to be able to uh, make sure that you're making more money in less amount of time. <laughs> It is currently 3.30 in the afternoon. The sun is going down, which is absolutely re freaking ridiculous but it is the middle of December and we are riding. It's finally warm enough to get out here and get on the bike. Uh, 60 degrees today, it's fantastic. Started off at 30, uh, 20, it was 28 degrees when I left this morning at 7.40 in the morning. For it to go from 28 to 60, and then tonight it's gonna be back down to 30. That's just wild. But, <laughs> hey, we are taking what we can get, getting out here on the bike and riding. So, the big thing that I kinda wanted to talk about during this break was, dude, I quit YouTube, I stopped making videos. How did that affect the channel? What's going on with the analytics? I was really up in the air about how YouTube would take my small leave of absence and 
what they would do with the channel if it was going to completely plummet, if it was going to sustain itself, what was happening. First and foremost, it looks like, uh, and this is not just me, but most creators are having a real big issues with ad revenue right now. I don't know what it is, but they have just decided to chop ad revenue. Normally, at the end of the year, you get a lot of companies that have end of year budgets that they have to meet. You had $8,000 to spend and you only spent $6,500. So next year, we're only gonna give you $6,500 because that's all you needed. And we're gonna save this $1,500. So the company goes, well, shit, what am I gonna do? I guess I'm going to take everything that I have left over and I'm going to throw it into something, some sort of, you know, marketable advertisement that I can continue to have a regular budget, a uh, normal regular budget. So normally what happens is at the end of the year, you will see a lot of YouTubers who are making a little bit more money because these companies are like, well, I need to get rid of this budget. I have to, I have this amount that I have to get rid of, blah, blah, blah. So they just kind of spend it. And it seems right now, either a lot of the companies are not spending money or YouTube is really restricting the amount they can spend. People just aren't making money, man. Like my advertisement money uh, has completely and totally, that guy just took that curb out. Yeah, so my, my advertisement money has completely and totally dropped, which I mean, I really don't have a problem with. I'm not in it for the money, especially right now. I'm not making any money anyway. I would love to be able to do this as a job. If you guys want me to do that, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, check out my Patreon, because that's how you support creators, is you subscribe to their channel, you share their stuff, and then you go to uh, where they have stuff available, such as Patreon, or if they have merch or anything like that, and you join up with that, or you buy some merch, or anything like that. Uh, anyways. <laughs> small shameless plug so i have noticed that over the past probably six months that my monetary amount has been steadily declining every month and that's not just me that's kind of everybody so i knew that was going to drop it didn't drop as significantly as i thought it would it did drop uh by about 55 to 60 percent i was making at the end of november about 50 bucks a month which I mean like a year ago I was making like 200 bucks a month so you can tell how everything has dropped and uh, the channel has significantly grown since then so you can definitely tell that something is going on but it went from about 50 to about 20 and like I said I'm not in it for the money so it's fine uh, 20 bucks a month is still 20 bucks more than what I had and I'm very grateful for the people who watch my videos blah 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 whatever I don't know Anyways, the big thing that I was really surprised about is my watch time didn't actually drop by a whole lot. So normally a video comes out and I get about a 50% watch time. If a video comes out and it's 14 minutes long, I'm gonna get a watch time of seven minutes. If it comes out and it's 25 minutes long, I'm gonna get a watch time of about 13 minutes. So I get a lot of 50% watch time, and I thought that a lot of stuff was gonna drop in the watch time area. It didn't, it didn't, it really didn't. A lot of the videos are still doing really well, and, and what's funny is the watch time didn't drop, and the amount of views that I get per month didn't really drop a whole lot. Normally I'd get about maybe three and a half K, four K views. And it only dropped to about 2.7, 2.8, I believe, which you would think that if somebody had consistently put out videos every single week, and then all of a sudden just stopped, that YouTube would be like, all right, obviously we're not gonna promote this anymore. We're not gonna put this out. And then they would kind of just stop putting it out and then you would uh, get a significant drop in your watch time. But a lot of the stuff that's being watched is Yamaha Bolt videos, which I think is just insane because this bike, it seems like nobody has ever heard of it. People look at it, they think it's a Harley. You know, the way that I've kind of like modified mine, it definitely looks like a Sportster. A lot of people 
never seem to know what this is. I tell people about it and they're like, oh, I've never heard of that. Yet, I still get all of these Yamaha Bolt videos as like the top videos, which I think is really, really interesting. And I'm really glad that this type of motorcycle, this Yamaha is, is still popular, that people want to learn about it, that they want to see what's going on with it. It's a great bike and I love that people are watching the videos. I was shocked to see how well the channel is still doing just based on the fact that I have Yamaha Bolt videos that are, uh, in my opinion, good videos and, and obviously in other people's opinions, good videos too. So you should uh, definitely go check those out if I do say so myself. You know, I also was pretty surprised to see that my subscriber count, uh, even though it did drop, it usually is about, I don't know, 50, 60 per month or something like that, which is not really great, especially people who have like a thousand per month. There are a lot of them and they're growing exponentially and that's fantastic, especially in this moto vlog community which a lot of people think are d is dead a lot of people are saying that this is not going to be a viable form of of vlogging anymore i disagree i think it's just kind of uh in a, a renaissance of of stuff that's going to come out with moto vlogging i think it's going to be really cool but to be able to get you know 50 subscribers per month is is fantastic for me uh, but it dropped to about 20 28 i think was what i got in the last 28 days which is shocking i didn't think that that was going to happen at all i figured that as soon as i stopped making videos that people were just going to stop watching they were going to stop stop subscribing uh, but i guess that you know the content is still out there so people are still watching it i'm really happy that even though i was gone for a in my opinion significant amount of time uh, some people might think it was not that long, but I I was kind of like really itching to make videos and I was kind of upset that uh, number one, I was still sick and that number two, it was so cold that I couldn't really do that. I was upset that I was gone for such a significant amount of time and I'm really happy to see that it wasn't a terrible detriment to the channel but to take a little break. Everybody, I guess, kind of needs a little bit of a break every once in a while and I'm glad that I was able to. Oh my gosh, look at that. Holy crap. Well, there's your problem. But thank you everybody to everyone who has watched the video, to everybody who has subscribed to the channel since I left, to everybody who's still here who didn't leave. I did have a period of time there where I was bouncing up and down and up and down with uh, the subscriber count. I could definitely tell that people were frustrated that I was not making videos anymore and they seemed to take it out on the subscription button. Uh, <laughs> hitting it on and off and on and off again or something like that, I don't know, but. I mean, the fact of the matter is, hey buddy, we're back. We are here, we are making videos. Now it is winter time, it is very cold, and I probably will not make, make a, a motorcycle video <laughs> for a little bit, but I will still be doing stuff on the bikes because now that I have a number one regular job, quote unquote, regular job, where I'm not working on weekends or anything like that, I do have consistent time off where I'm going to be able to do some stuff to the bikes. I'm going to be able to do some fun overlander maybe stuff, or I don't know, working on the forerunner. Dude, I gotta get the Mustang up and running. The bullet is sitting in the backyard and it's pissing me off that nothing is happening to it right now. So I'm going to definitely be getting that up and running again. I'm headed to Texas in a couple of days. In fact, when you're watching this, I will uh, be in Texas and almost back in Tennessee. And I gotta tell you guys, I just can't thank everybody enough. Those who did stick with me, those who are new, who joined up because of you know the bolts stuff or whatever if whatever it is that made you decide to click that subscribe button if you are new here maybe consider just giving that subscribe button a little little tap 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 a root check out the links down below if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this audio if you 
thought, hey, you know what? This is a cool idea making videos and I would like to do it myself. Well, guess what? You can and you can do it for free by subscribing to the channel. Once we hit 5,000 subscribers, we are going to be giving away one of these bad boys right here, a Cena 10C Evo. This is what I've recorded most of these videos on for the past three years. It is a great little unit. It's all inclusive. You get audio, visual, Bluetooth. You can connect your phone with it. It will play music, podcasts, whatever on these long rides. You can connect to a bunch of different head units, not just Cena's. You can connect to all kinds of different head units. You guys can have your own conversations with each other, which is awesome. Just awesome. I'm gonna be giving one of these away thanks to Cena, and uh, we're gonna do that up at 5,000 subscribers, baby. So if you wanna be eligible for that, all you gotta do, all you gotta do, man, is just subscribe for details. I'll let you know what's going on with uh, how we're gonna give this thing away once we get to a certain, you know, point. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much to everybody who has watched the video over the past you know, 30 or 40 days or, and even before. It's awesome to know that I can take a little bit of time for myself to try to get healthy and to try to kind of regroup and figure out what's going on. I'm so happy that I was able to get out even in the dead of December when it was literally, dude, yesterday it was, the high was 40 degrees. I walked outside and the bikes were frozen. They literally had icicles hanging off of them. It was crazy, but people stick with it and it's awesome. And I'm ready, I'm back making more videos. Let's do it, let's get her done. Hell yeah, I got lots of stuff planned this year. I got ideas just bursting, bursting out of my brain. <laughs> I think 2024 is gonna be killer. Hell yeah, baby. Love you all, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.